Nice time to get a full up six o'clock in the morning. Then I have to tramp away over on the other side of town. Why didn't they give me a district around here where I know everybody's business? Then I could sit down here at home and figure it out on my own time. But Edgar, you can't be fussy. For five years you've been trying to get into the government service. This is your opportunity and may lead to bigger things. All right, all right. Oh, Vivian. Yes? Ain't there no bacon to go with my eggs? Oh, bacon to go with your eggs. If you just signed an application for this one I did, you could be going out with me now and bring home your own bacon. What does father know about census taking? He was raised on a farm. Yeah, if you'd have bought me that cow when I asked you to, I'd be making money right now, selling milk to the neighbors. Why, the only milking that you could do is to milk me for a living. If you'd have only been smart and married that rich widow that had the pickle factory. And have all the neighbors saying we married father off for money. Money or no money, I ain't gonna marry again. I'm satisfied right here. Oh, you're satisfied here, huh? Well, who wouldn't be with three square meals a day? Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you something. If Vivian had married young Squares and his million, I'd be in Palm Beach this winter. But no, she marries you. And why? Because we tradies never married for money. Now, Father, don't lose well, your temper. Well, Edgar, well, Edgar, please. Father's only trying to be helpful. Uh, and you know, dear, we could keep a cow in the garage. And wouldn't you like fresh cream for your coffee? Oh, fresh cream for my coffee. And I could make butter, too. All I need is a churn. Mm, I'll churn your neck if you don't get out Edgar. of here. Edgar! Oh. Cow. Cow. Who, me? Oh, no, not you, dear. Oh, will you stand still? You're such a fuss budget, Hilda. Yes, Wait till I get another pin. Well, where did you come from? Well, I've been right here. Well, where is Hilda? She went to answer the door. What for? Well, the bell rang. She went to answer the bell in my new dress. Why, oh. Well, I hope she did. Hello. Hello. I'm the census taker. What kind of taker? The census taker. You know, I like to know the number of people that live here and what their business is. Oh, uh, just a minute. Hilda, who is it? It's the census taker, ma'am. Census taker? Oh, my, and we dressed like this. I suppose I'll have to tell him my life's history. If that's all he wants, I can give it to him, ma'am. What do you know about my history? <laughs> Plenty, I suppose. Oh, well, go ahead. But be sure you don't tell him my right age. Come in. You know what a census taker is, don't you? Yeah, sure. All right, let's get down to business. Oh, we got 18 rooms, four bedrooms. We just put on an extra wing. It cost $10,000. Look at the furniture. Isn't it beautiful? Very expensive, too. Just a minute, I'll get the bill. Never mind. Oh, this coach is very old. It's from King Louis Castle. All right, all right, all right. Are you married? No. Not married. It had a sweetheart once, but they lost him. Passed away? No, just... Pass me up. That is, we pass each other. He was going to Chicago, and he was going to San Francisco. And he was supposed to meet me in Kansas City. But we came through at night, and both trains passed each other without stopping. 
He was born on a farm, and I think he's still there. Uh, name, please. Franey. William Franey. That must be her name. But I'd make it my name tomorrow if they could find him. Uh, <laughs> did he like cows? Yeah, sure. He always said that one day he'd have his own cow. <laughs> and you say that, uh, You'd marry him tomorrow oh, if you found him? Sure. Even if he was poor? Sure, I'd marry him. But it would be very nice if he had his car. <coughs> you say 18 rooms here, huh? Yeah. Uh, no repairs needed? No. Uh, no mortgage on the place? No, no mortgage. No mortgage, huh? <laughs> You'd marry him tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Um, sure. 18 rooms, uh, no repairs, no mortgage. <laughs> Edgar, what are you doing home at this time of day? Ah, uh, wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know? Where's Pop? I don't know. Probably out looking for work. Oh, uh, well, he don't have to work anymore. <laughs> you go on out and bake him a nice cake, and uh, I'll go on and do your work for you. Go on. Edgar, have you been drinking? <laughs> My cup runneth over. I think I'd better run us out in the kitchen and get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, hello, Pop. Now, wait, 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 wait a minute, Ed. I've been trapping all day looking for that job. Oh, well, you don't have to find any job. I was just fooling this morning. Come on over here. i got something I want to show you. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know, Ed. I was going to chop that wood tomorrow. Oh, but you don't have to chop any wood. Look out there. A cow. <laughs> Who's is it, Ed? It's yours. Oh, hooray. <laughs> I'm in business. I don't have to look for a job anymore. No. Am I hearing things? You haven't heard anything yet. Come here, Bim. Take a look. It's out of my dairy. And I'll tell you yours wholesale. Edgar Kennedy, there's something wrong with you. What's wrong with that buying me a cow? Look, you like cows, don't you, Pop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you were raised on a farm, weren't you, Pop? <laughs> and that farm was near Keokuk, wasn't it? Why, yes, why? <laughs> I bet you knew all the farmer's daughters there, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> well, I knew few in my pride. <laughs> Do you remember a girl by the name of Hilda? 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 Oh, she was just one of my sweethearts. Oh, one of your sweethearts, huh? Gee, I bet if you could... Run across Hilda again, you'd marry her, wouldn't you? What? That old chatterbox? I uh, should say not. But, uh, <coughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. But look, that was, that was years ago. Maybe she's changed by now. Uh, maybe she's even lost her voice. Well, that might make a little difference here. Yeah. Come on, Viv. Let's take a look at the cow. I'm not interested in women right now. Come on. Oh. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is the census taker. Remember me? <coughs> That's right. Yeah. Look, quite by accident, I uh, ran across your old sweetheart, Mr. Framey. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 I didn't mention your name. I uh, thought maybe you'd like to surprise him. That's why I called. Well, uh, I can arrange for him to, uh, or for you to meet him here at my home, uh, say tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. <laughs> That's fine. Fine. Uh, one, three, four, Marshall Drive. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Edgar. Edgar. Oh, what's the matter? Six o'clock already? No, there's somebody in the house.
Well, what are you doing with the cow in the house? Well, listen, Ed, it's freezing outside and she'd catch pneumonia. Yeah. I'd give her an alcohol bath. Well, I want to give her a mustard foot bath and she won't stand for it. Well, you're not going to ruin my kitchen with that cow. Now, you get her out of here. Oh, if she goes, I go. I can make my own living now. Come on. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, he can't leave here till 9 o'clock. I mean, uh, it, is, it is pretty cold outside, Vivian. Well, Father, you come along. You'd better get some sleep. You have to get up early and milk. Yeah, that's right. You go up now, and I'll take care of Flossie for you. Well, if I'm going to support this family, you better take good care of her. I'll take care of her. And give her a drink of water. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead and drink, because when you get your fill, it's back to the garage for you. I mean, I'll get my overcoat, and I'll be right back. And say, no blankets for you either, you darling. Take care of a cow. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I must have fallen asleep, darling. Oh, don't I'm... touch me. Get that cow out of here. Oh, what time is it? Nine o'clock. Oh, nine o'clock. Oh, cover this stuff up. Cover it up quick. Get this covered up here. Cover up that chair over there. Cover up that chair. Get that thing all fixed up. I'll be with you in just a minute. Oh, come on. Oh, go on. Get your clothes on. Get dressed up. What's the matter with you? You cracked? Oh, look at him. Oh, Greg, I'm going to fall so messed up. Oh, Greg, 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 Greg,
Say, Ed, why do I have to... William! Hilda! What are you doing here? Never mind. Help me. Help. Oh. <laughs> oh, William! Aren't you glad to see me? Yes, yes. of course you are, aren't you, Bill? Yes, aren't you yes, glad yes, to yes. see us? Oh, we got to get her. Oh, Vivian! Oh, Vivian, this is... Uh, Pop's old sweetheart, Hilda. Oh, how do you do? And they're going to get married tomorrow, aren't you, Hilda? Oh, sure. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Hey, you're telling me. Hey, now, Pop, you better run up and put on your other clothes and get your suitcase all packed up, and then we'll get down to the courthouse and stand up for you. Then Hilda can go home and pack her suitcase. You go on your honeymoon, and we'll take care of our house. House? What house? Why, the house where I met you, you know? Oh, I don't live there anymore. Exit. You quit? Uh, you quit what? My young. I used to work there. Uh, <clears throat> just, uh, you mean that you don't own that big house with the 18 rooms in it? No. <laughs> Come on, Hilda. I'll show you my cow while Edgar's trying to figure it out. Hmm. <laughs> so Hilda doesn't live there anymore. No. Well, Mr. Matchmaker, start talking. Uh, I'll answer it. I'll answer it, dear. I'll go. Good morning. I'm the census taker. Oh. 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 Come on in. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy, this is the census taker. Uh, how do you do? Uh, won't you sit down? Thank you. Nice place you have here. <laughs> Yes, sir, we like it. Uh, just the two of you in the family? No, three. Four. And a cow. <laughs> 